visitations have been canceled at the Department of Corrections and the inmate and detainee population is currently on lockdown following the discovery of a 12 inch by 12 inch hole in the perimeter fence on the back side of the domes at the Minilau compound. DEPCOR spokesperson Lieutenant Anton Uggen. As protocol, a uh, count was done. Uh, the unit was placed on lockdown. Uh, all inmates were accounted for. And then uh, Monday morning, uh, the warden came in. They uh, did a shakedown of the unit. Uh, they found some contraband. Lieutenant Uggen says officers found a cell phone, drug paraphernalia, and tobacco products inside the dome where approximately 60 detainees are being held. As a result of that, the warden ordered that uh, several of the detainees be tested. Uh, five of them tested positive, five of them, so they were moved to post six. The warden reviewed the files of those who are being detained at the dome and removed a total of 14 of them to the maximum security unit pending further investigation. The warden has ordered additional uh, uh, fences be put up around that area and, and uh, shore up the, the backside of the place. Again, says it's too early to say if the hole that was discovered in the perimeter fence is connected with the contraband discovered at the dome unit. Additionally, he says there's no indication at this point that anyone escaped from the prison undetected. Those being detained at the domes are considered a low-risk population as they are being held for contempt of court and probation and parole violations. So it's a minimum security uh, unit, and uh, most of them during the day go out and bush cut and clean in the community as part of their... Uh, they're part of their daily activities. An internal affairs investigation has been launched to determine how the detainees got access to the drugs and contraband, whether it was while they were out on daily work details around the community or whether someone threw the items over the perimeter fence. Lieutenant Huggins says it is possible that some were recently detained and could still have drugs in their system or that they got the drugs while behind bars. Keeping drugs and contraband out of the prison is a constant challenge and the shortage of officers on duty to watch the growing number of inmates and detainees makes it even more difficult. In fact, there's only one officer assigned to the dome that has a population of some 60 detainees. Most of the time there's just one. If we have a few extra officers, we, would, we put two. Uh, right now I think it's still one, but the, uh, because of the work in the back, there's extra officers in the back. So there's other, the warden has done other things to uh, the perimeter to beef it up by assigning certain officers to come in at certain times for the perimeter. And that in turn results in increased overtime costs for the department. But we have to do what we need to do to ensure that nobody gets out and try to keep the contraband on as best we can. Reporting in Manilao for Guam's News Network, I'm Mindy Egan.